Hi, I'm Chris and welcome back to another episode of my traction engine build. Today we're going to get the smoke box here and mount it on the front of the boiler. Um, but before we do that, we've got a couple of jobs to do. Um, number one is that these rivets need to be um, painted. Obviously the same colour as the perch bracket. They just didn't undercoat them yet. And number two, we need to fit the fusible plug, which goes in here, in there. Uh, where's the plug? Here's the plug. So, for those that don't know, um, so this is called a fusible plug, and what it means is that, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but the centre is drilled all the way through and it's filled up with lead. Now lead obviously melts at a lower temperature than brass. So what happens is when the plug is in there on top of the fire, so the fire is sitting down here, this is that would be directly above the fire. It means that if the plug becomes uncovered with water, as in you've let the water level get too low, the fire melts the centre out of the plug, which then obviously dumps any remaining water and steam on top of the fire and hopefully puts it out. So it's sort of like a built-in safety mechanism. Now I need to be a bit careful because I've just painted this around here in primer and I don't want to get any paint on my best jeans. So I'll put this in by hand and tighten it first just to check the threads are clear and then we've got to take it out and put some thread sealant on and go again. Extension bar. That's all the way in. So take it back out again. Now I'm using this Loctite five six seven, which is a um high temperature thread sealant. Comes out. And get right into the threads. There we go, and now it goes back in. You can start it by hand first to make sure it's not cross threaded. And there we go. Okay, so I've painted these rivets over. Now we can try and give it a fit. It seems to be catching on a couple of places. I don't think it's the paint because it's quite thin. You see there as well. So I'll try and clean those bits up and try again. Okay, I've just skimmed the paint off on both sides where it was rubbing before. So there. And around there. 
and I've done the same on the bottom or the back of the smoke box as well. So we'll try for another fit. Yeah, that seems to have gone quite well. I had to sort of tap the side of here just to rotate the smoke box a little bit to get the holes aligned, but they seem quite good now. These are meant to be a snug fit that they push in. I'm going to sand these up before I put them on just so they'll take the paint a bit easier. Because they're quite shiny at the minute. Dug out the old rivets now from kit one two years ago. We can put some of these in. As you can see the alignment's pretty good. That's one gets stuck. So that one in a minute. So those are all the rivets in. We've just got to put a nut on each one of those now. A nut and a washer actually. But that's easy. It's the first two big sort of sub-assemblies put together. So I've just given the foundation ring another coat of paint. Um, it needs one more after this and then we can get the boiler horizontal again. Um, next job after that is to get the horn plates fitted. They're not 100% ready yet. This has just been rubbed down and needs more top coat. And that is obviously still an undercoat. Um, but after that we can get those fitted. And then things are starting to come together. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.